What's up, YouTube? This is TJ Goble. Going to do a short review on the Glock 23 Gen 3 40 Cal Compact. Let's start by unboxing and seeing what you get when you buy the gun new. The gun comes standard with two 13 round magazines. A Glock speed loader, although this isn't my favorite speed loader to use, it definitely gets the job done. Comes with a safety lock, as well as a Glock pistol cleaning kit. Now let's move on to the gun. The gun has a great design, as most Glocks do. It's got a length of 7.36 inches, a height of 4.99 inches, a width of 1.18 inches. Unloaded, this gun weighs approximately 23.65 ounces. Loaded, the gun weighs approximately 31.06 ounces. It comes standard with a 5.5 pound trigger pull, although you can buy an aftermarket trigger to reduce the pull to a 3.5 pound trigger pull, as well as more upgrades that are available for this gun, being the fact that you can convert it to a nine mil by changing the barrel and magazine, or a 357 SIG. I've unboxed this weapon once already, so I'll go ahead and give you my overall opinion of the gun. It makes for a great concealed carry weapon due to its size and knockdown power. Being a 40 caliber, it has everything you need for a self-defense gun. Let's talk about a couple cons. The gun is geared mostly toward right-handed shooters as the mag drop is on the left-hand side, making it difficult for left-handed shooters to use. Also, for people who aren't familiar with Glock, they're gonna find that the only safety the gun has is on the trigger. For some people, this is a con. For some people, it's a pro. Me, myself, I like the fact that the safety is on the trigger. Gives you quicker access in the event you have to use your weapon. A lot of people are also uncomfortable with Glock due to the fact that it's mostly a plastic gun. What people have to remember is that Glock is a weapon that has held its own in the handgun world as many law enforcement agencies across the world use Glock, especially in the 40 caliber. Glock is a solid, reliable gun according to its reputation. Now let's do a little comparison between the Gen 3 and the Gen 4. The Gen 4 does have a back strap to accommodate different hand sizes. It's got a higher profile on the grip. It's got dual recoil springs for increased life and longevity. Although the Gen 3 only has a single recoil spring, I know many people with the Gen 3s that have put thousands of rounds down range and never had a problem. The biggest difference between the Gen 3 and the Gen 4 is the ability to swap the mag release button for ambidextrous shooters. The gun itself is a great gun for carry. It's well balanced, making the recoil very minimal, which makes this gun very user friendly for male or female shooters. 
So I would recommend this gun to just about anybody looking for a good carry conceal weapon. In my upcoming videos, I'm going to be firing different kinds of ammo, different brands to see how the gun reacts and holds up. A few of the brands is going to be Federal, Federal Aluminum, and Tall Ammo. Once again, this is just going to be to see if the gun jams, if it has misfire, and how it reacts. Make sure to stay tuned for upcoming videos. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. God bless America. Stay safe and Semper Fi.